This is a country of hope and action. There's every possibility, there's every hope that we can actually get to where we want to go. I really didn't know what to expect when I came to Rwanda for the first time. I think like many people, the brand of Rwanda was set by the movie Hotel Rwanda. And I knew there were things happening here, there were positive things happening, but I've been in third world countries all over the world and I saw promise in pockets. Say about his responsibility, fighting for peace, it's TFP, nigga. Do you make Listen, huh. it's no more good news on the evening news. People killing each other like they ain't got nothing to lose. When I was, I was looking, our house burning, I didn't know where my, my family is. You know, I, I go up to the up the hill to see the other hill because I see the house burned. I don't understand why people are, are are burning houses. At that time, there is no food, no water, so the killers was outside waiting. Somebody who can go outside to get water and kill him. Emmanuel was my brother. He was 24. One day he went on that village, and those killers came and they killed him with machetes. We have a nation to build, and you know, we can't wait until the pain is over. We have no time. You see, you have to build with one hand and wipe tears with another one. Yeah. It's not easy to forgive, yeah. But, but if you forgive, it's you, to, you, feel, you feel better. If you just say, I forgive you, you just feel okay, you sleep well. If you went back to the mid-1990s, you would probably say that the two most ruined countries in the whole world would have been Rwanda, which had just suffered this terrible genocide, and then nearby Somalia, which had gone through that Black Hawk Down episode and was being torn apart by clan warfare and so forth. At that time, I think anybody looking forward to the future of these two countries would have said they probably would have the same fate. If they're lucky, they might end up with a brutal ethnic dictatorship, but more likely they're going to have constant terror and anarchy and starvation forever. Now, Somalia has gone along just the way everybody would have predicted. But Rwanda hasn't. Rwanda has rebelled against its destiny. It's rebelled against fate. It's rebelled against history. And uh, has produced something now that no one would ever have predicted in 1994. How did they do that? How do, re do you reinvent the nation? How do you, I mean, to accept that, you, that you, you, you're ready to, to move on and write a new chapter together? That's, that's incredible. Kagame really is one of the most successful revolutionaries of his generation. He's something like a real-life James Bond with a little Che Guevara mixed in. What he has done in his life is truly amazing. President Kagame initiated a process, a dialogue process, uh, for Rwandans to articulate their intentions, their aspirations, and, uh, and, and their wishes. And so the Vision 2020 was born. of GRDP is about relationships. It's bringing communities together, individuals together, in this case, bringing entrepreneurs together, successful entrepreneurs from the United States, high potential emerging, very excited entrepreneurs here in Rwanda to build relationships and share from their experiences. 
my last achievement is uh, uh, we completed one commercial building. I'm trained as a computer networker. We started the uh, construction of a hotel. One of my most positive achievements in the last six months is just being here. cleaning our streets to keep our nation clean. After that, we have a brief meeting whereby we can express and share our various grievances before the various authorities. And we tend to develop the spirit of loving that we are called to participate in for the good of the future of our nation. We welcome any other people who would like to come and contribute to the change. There's a lot of community pride in this country, and it's a story that needs to be told worldwide. Yeah, we have a lot to learn from the people here. And maybe you will have to see it yourself.